M0FXB Hamtech, welcome back to my very crazy shack. So just a quick one here. I'm helping my friend here set up his jumbo hotspot. So I've got a few hotspots around this shack, but you know, the kind of thing you're going to see looks like this. Okay. And sometimes it can be really frustrating because when you first get it, it won't have your Wi-Fi details on there. Now, one shortcut way of fixing this is to buy a Ethernet micro USB adapter and plug that straight into your, you know, into your hotspot, basically in the, into the micro USB. If you've got one on here, I've got an adapter on mine. That's one way of doing it. But otherwise you have to use a program called PyStar Builder, which you basically put in your username and password and, and then drag that file that it creates onto the SD card that's in every single hotspot. Yeah, you drag it in there when it boots up, it starts to, I don't know, send out its its IP address. And then when you put that into your PC, it, you link to it. And then now you're talking to this device. OK, and it's then that you can go in and configure PyStar. So sometimes it can drive you mad. You might have a corrupt SD card. You might have to reload uh, the PyStar image. So imagine your SD card almost like it's a hard drive on your PC and you need to load it up and tell your hotspot, your MMDVM hotspot, DMRD Star Fusion, to do what it needs to do. And then you can configure it, how you want to use it, what frequency, because a hotspot will send out a frequency from this little black antenna to the radio that you're using. But then it will use the internet side, you know, the Wi-Fi or Ethernet, mainly Wi-Fi really, um, to connect to all the talk groups, DMRD Star Fusion. It's effectively, it's a link to the internet and to those rooms and talk groups, reflectors. So what I want to say is if you're doing this and it's driving you crazy, just just take a deep breath. Don't rush. There is no rush. This is a hobby. You don't have to get it working today, tomorrow. I've had stuff sat on the desk for months and months and I just go back to it when I feel like it. I have a little tinker and I'm definitely not an expert. I'm just a person that just keeps trying, watching videos, and there are lots and lots of really good videos. That's really YouTube has always been my best friend. And yeah, very often I do go to my own videos. And when you've made like 15,000 videos, uh, very often I find the answer um, uh, on one of my own videos. And by the way, um, please hit the like and hit the subscribe. Think about joining my channel if my videos have helped you even once because it's a thank you, isn't it? So. The main reason for this video is don't rush. Take your time. Take a deep breath. Go and have a coffee. Go for a walk in the park. Go back to it. Maybe go back to it after a couple of days. If you let things stress you out and then you go, right, that's it. It's broken. I'm sending it back to the manufacturer. I'm going to factory reset it. I'm going to delete everything. Then you're letting stress decide how you solve a hobby problem. And you've got to always remember that that this is a hobby item for enjoyment. If you go fishing and you don't catch any fish, you don't get your fishing rod and chuck it in the sea or lake and go, I'm never fishing again. You just think I didn't catch fish. I'll go another day. It's exactly the same thing. Whatever your hobby is, stamp collecting, train spotting, plane spotting, you know, it's a hobby for enjoyment. So stay calm, enjoy and enjoy the learning. Because for me, the learning part is the best part for your brain. Sat there just listening to people chat is nice, very nice, interesting, fascinating, and, and can really give you a nice feeling, yeah? But learning is gonna build your confidence. It's gonna build your confidence, even if you're a new ham radio operator, or you're studying to be a ham radio operator, or just to learn better at using your CB, PMR, DPMR, all the different hobbies. You might just be using Zello um, to chat with people. It's going to, any learning is going to build your confidence and make you feel a better person. Yeah. And uh, anyway, 73, thanks for watching. And remember, health is number one. Oh, always think about your health, what you're eating, drinking, smoking. That is going to be the deciding factor as you get older uh, of how you ultimately feel. Bye for now, 7-3.